M0FXB welcome back to my videos on this budget telescopic antenna with a built-in tuner now this antenna covers several bands now they're only about 20 odd pounds and you know what they're not amazing but they do come with a PL259 connector to get this one to work on 40 meters which is working now. You can see a couple of stations popping up there. And they're quite narrow-banded, meaning they only really pick up a small section of the bandwidth at a time. So there's a weak station there. So the way I've tuned it to do 40 meters, if you look here, I've flicked it to between 5.75 and 6. And then you just tune this knob and you'll see it goes quiet and they are designed to, for you to transmit as well I'm not going to even try at the moment so I just want to sit get it working on receive really someone there The way I look at it is that it's usable, very compact, you can go on the on the two meter band, see that one is there, Now the way these are designed, they're actually designed in a way where you could add a long wire here. There's a connector there. You could also ground this on the 705. You've got a ground there. You could add some ground. That's going to help you definitely on transceive. If we go to two meters, let's do two meters. We're on two meters and look at the state of that signal so what we're going to do is click around it's going to go let's go to that's my local repeater fm and the thing about these kind of antennas they do pick up all kinds of stuff don't they and then you just flick around I'm sure they probably provide a manual to let you know which number you should click it on. See that one says 300, I'm going to try there. Yeah, so if anyone knows the settings for 2 metres. But it will also do 20 metres. What are we looking? So at the moment, nothing, yeah? upper side band then we'll click until we get more volume you could use an an antenna analyzer again it's trial and error really and then moving that knob I mean, is it even designed to do 20? Someone give me some settings, see what they think would be a good setting. Ah, see that went louder, didn't it? To the left is louder. That's obviously FT8. It's a bit of a funny one, isn't it? Ah, someone there. Oh, 
Ooh. Ooh. We have someone. So I think it's a bit of a toy. If you open this up, there's a toroid in there with loops on it. Underneath, there's a tuning, like a tuning, it's a tuning capacitor. There's no way that's going to handle 20 watts. No way. But as a receive antenna, there's someone there. Look. If you if you go out in the garden and you want something portable. So what I'll do to end this, I'm going to put on my just my long wire. And I will say, be very careful not to twist the base of this. Because if you do, it will just it will snap off the wire that connects into the capacitor to the to the adjustable the variable uh, capacitor. And then you'll have to just take these screws off and then solder it back on. It's very doable. Now look at the difference. That's just 66 foot of wire and a 49 to 1 ballon. And this wire... There's the ballon and the wire stretches all the way along there so, look how good that is and I would say you know instead of faffing around trying to find the magic antenna dig out some wire if you're gonna buy a loop you're gonna need to spend two three hundred pounds to get a good one that actually works I like long wires but I understand that some people have not got the room. Look at that. What I'm going to do now is grab my the loop that uh, I got from Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Okay, so look how good that sounds. Let me just show you Paul's loop. So this is the, the tuning block. So the capacitors in there, you tune under here. And it's about, I would say a meter circle, roughly. And you've got this secondary loop there. And then you provide yourself a stand, which goes back to the radio. Of course, that's the ICOM 705. Oh, by the way, we're rescuing a magpie at the moment. Say hi to Magic. Magic, say hi. Tweet, tweet. See, she talks. Mazzy's really good around anything like that. I mean, that's, you're, the loop's doing great, isn't it? That's from Paul. And it will tune as well. And the span there. And I think you'll find that loops, they, they can pick up some unwanted frequencies. See some activity here. And let's do 40. So we're not tuned to 40 quite yet. We just need to turn that knob. I'll just reach over and just turn it. Just turn, sorry about this. And you're gonna get the best SWR when you do that. Hit the reflector and turn it back, and you can see all the signals then. Look at that. I mean, look, that's the antenna. That's where I was tuning. 
It's that black knob underneath. Now, if I put my long wire on, I can't hear you. Right, now we're just back on the long wire that we were on earlier. Micro 7 Golf Quebec radio hit afternoon. Am I signal? Golf Quebec radio signal. Hi. So fascinating. So you know, this is what you can do. I mean, if you, what I would do if if you're on a low budget, I would experiment with 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 different lengths of wire. That's my advice. You can buy antenna tuners at such a low price now. I recommend the um, AT100M. It's on AliExpress. It's just such a low price. It just works really well. These kind of things, really, I feel like they're just toys. Yeah, uh, you're better off, in my opinion, just cutting a length of wire, garden wire. Now, a well-made loop like this is not a toy. You don't want to stand in front of that when you're transmitting either. That's a proper piece of uh, engineering there. Um, you can buy long vertical antennas. They tend to be very expensive, 20 and 40. You could buy it now. There's some budget loops that you can get. I've got one here. Uh, let's just actually connect it before we finish now, just to show you what I'm on about. Need to clean mine up. <laughs> it's covered in mud. My wife's been gardening, but so these are really good value. I think they're they're not much more than they're about 30 pounds. You can put them into a magnetic stand if you want to. And they, this one's designed for 40 meters, but it will it will work on 20. And they always do okay. You can see here, it's just sat here on the table. I haven't done any grounding, although if you're going to transmit, I recommend you do. Hit the ref. Turn it down so you can sort of see the signals a bit better. It's like an RF game, RF game for the screen, you know? It really helps. You could do the actual RF game if you press here. Completely usable. So we're now on 20 and it really that antenna it's not designed for 20 that antenna it's though I, I've noticed that with an antenna tuner I can get it to actually to do something Remember a tuner, what it does, it matches the impedance. You sort of think, well, what's, what's that all about? What's impedance all about? So imagine this is a, a hose pipe here, and you've got a hose pipe that connects water between this hose pipe and this, you know, these two connections. And then if one end of the hose pipe is tiny, it's a tiny little hole, it's only going to let through a certain amount of water, isn't it? Yeah? You, if you want the water to flow nice and fast from this radio to this radio yeah then you want the pipe to be the same size okay and that's that's almost how, what impedance is like um, you need it to be the same size so it so the the signal flows if that makes sense um, so that's how I liken when I think about ohms 
Bye for now. Bye from Mazzy. Magpie's gone. 7-3.